This is Dawn McCoy with Flourish Leadership Group, where I ignite your leadership to the next level. I thought I would just jump on and share with you in particular about what we need to do to be best in our leading roles. Well, leading in an exciting role could be almost anything. It could be a new leadership position. It could be something dynamic. It could be a crisis leadership position. Leading in an exciting leadership role could be challenging, but exciting at the same time. So I want you to think about what that might mean to you. You are a leader who might be seasoned, you might be new, you might be someone who's just sort of on the scene. You could even be someone who's seasoned. But being in an exciting opportunity means that you're gonna have some bumps. And so what do you do? One, you prepare for it. So you do a scope, an environmental scan, you get the big picture. My goodness, you need to know where are the challenges. But also, if you're in a crisis leadership position, you're going to want to take stock with some emergency preparedness, being on top of all of the aspects of what could possibly be wrong or challenging so that you know where the pitfalls might lie. You also want to be able to have a full debriefing from anyone who's been on the scene before you. If there's been someone who's left as a leader and now you're in the succession, gosh, you need to know what just happened. If you're someone leading a crisis, you need to know what's an already been place so that you can be the one to be there, be ready, and be diligent. So let me let break those down and let's talk a little bit more about what that means. That means that you're the one who's going to need to be on top of the scene. You need to be ready to go and be diligent. There's no time to waste, so I want you to make sure you have a checklist of sorts to be able to go into planning, but also the post planning about what needed to happen, sort of where are you and where do you need to be on this scope? What do you need to be involved in and who can do something on your behalf? If there's someone who needs to take stock of what's happened, then I want you to make sure you do that. Absolutely get yourself ready, ramped up and go. Now, it's not always gonna be that easy to do. Absolutely not. You're not going to have support. You may have impediments. You may have challenges. All the information may have washed away, blown away or been sort of gone. And so what you need to do is rebuild and recraft with what information you have. So I want you to think about how you can be in that exciting role, but be at the same time aware of all of the challenges that might happen and be prepared. So with that, I want you to think about how you're going to execute your plan and be in this new and exciting opportunity because it's not all it's worked up to be if you're not prepared and thinking proactively about what you have to do. You know, what I think about making sure that leaders are prepared is about being equipped with the resources to do what you need to do to execute. So I want you to think about that and also pick up a copy of some of the resources I have linked below that may in fact provide you some insight. But more importantly, I want you to share your comments below and show what has worked for you. How have you had an exciting leadership role and what did you do? How did you respond and what were the resources that you had? Again, this is Dawn McCoy with Flourish Leadership Group, where I ignite your leadership to the next level. Until we meet again, be enlightened, be enriched, be empowered.